understand. Uterine fibroids are benign tumors of the uterus. Benign means that they are not cancer. They are swellings that happen in the muscle area of the uterus. So the muscle is a very thick layer here in the middle of the uterus. And these swellings can be anywhere in that muscle and the size can vary also. And that will decide the symptoms and the complaints you might have. So myo is muscle, oma is swelling. That's why myoma is a muscle swelling. And fibroid is the fibers of the muscle will have some swelling in them. Who gets them? About 80 to 90% of the women by the age of 50 will have had myomas. Some women will never notice them and others might have life-threatening situations because of them. The causes are not known of why we have these or develop these myomas. But we are assuming that estrogen has a major role in affecting them, so their growth. So the more estrogen you have, the female hormone, the more chances of growing a bigger size of those uh, myomas. Genetics play an important role. Number one role is that you might inherit it from your mother or a related uh, woman in the family on your mother's side. So if your mother, your aunt or your sister have had it, you probably will develop it. Uh, another reason is weight gain. If you are overweight, you might develop it because this will increase the estrogen in the blood. Women will, who have had their menarche very early, started menstruating very early in their lives, we expect that they might be having a higher chance of developing myomas. The symptoms and the complaints due to myomas will depend on the size and the location of the tumors. So let's see on this painting of uh, Dr. Netter how this will happen. So you might have a tumor or a myoma in the middle of the uterus, in the middle layer, and you might not notice much. Another one might block the fallopian tube and then will affect the fertility. Another one might fill in the area of the uterus and then affect also the growth of your baby if you are pregnant or the position of the baby. It might even block the exit of the baby and then we will have to do a caesarean section to get the baby out. One might also even stick out of the vagina and we can see it outside the uterus. Here's another one that is actually coming outside of the uterus and then twisting around itself and might be life-threatening to the patient. The size, as you can see, varies from some millimeters and some can grow to as big as a watermelon or a football. As you can see here also, the baby's growth is affected by this tumor and also the position. This tumor has been developing gangrene and then we have a major life-threatening situation for the lady. This lady's tumor is totally blocking her uterus and then she might be not able to get pregnant. And this lady's myoma is sticking out of her abdominal wall and then it looks very disturbing of course and also could threaten her life. Here we can see that the myomas can also grow to affect the colon or if they press on the colon and the rectum might even block it and in the end you will develop constipation and severe pain, abdominal pain. You can also have back pain due to the weight of the uterus pulling on the ligaments hanging on the back bones and then you will have a lot of pain. Another problem that if it's very heavy it might press on the urinary bladder and then you will be having the urge to urinate more often. Another problem is that if they are very big and filling this area, sexual intercourse will be very painful. Another problem they cause is that they are cosmetically not pretty if they grow very big. 
and then you will develop a big belly. People might think you're pregnant, but you're not. It's, it's that myoma. They also suck a lot of blood out of your system. So when you're having your menstruation, you'll be bleeding a lot. That's another problem. And the result of this, you will have prolonged menstruation periods and heavy ones. And that will make you lose a lot of iron from your body and will have, in the end, iron deficiency anemia. So most women who have big myomas also suffer at the end from iron deficiency anemia. So how can we help? How can we uh, solve the problem? We need to first diagnose it. So I would suggest that all women who have had family history of myomas to uh, seek medical help to diagnose it uh, using uh, ultrasound. So pelvic ultrasound is number one way to diagnose it. You will go to the gynecologist and he or she will have a probe either into the vagina or transabdominal and will look at your abdomen from inside and diagnose it. How do we treat the myomas? Many doctors will um, just observe you and watch and wait. So they will ask you to come back every six months to check if the myoma has grown and then decide on what to do with it. And if you have problems, the doctor will prescribe medications. The medications are usually uh, hormones, so uh, birth control pills or other hormones. You might also have an IUD inserted into the uterus. They will also try to correct your uh, iron. You might take iron tablets or injections and that will help a lot in feeling better and correcting your uh, like shortness of breath and being tired and so on. The alternative to medication or medical treatment is surgical treatment. We have two options, either to remove the uterus as a whole, they will not remove the ovaries, only the uterus. And this is the perfect solution if you want to permanently get rid of the myomas, they will never grow back. But of course, that's when you are maybe older and have decided not to have children anymore because you will not be able to have children after hysterectomy. The other option is to have myomectomy. Myomectomy means cutting only the myomas. So they will remove only the myomas, either through open abdominal surgery or endoscopy or through the vagina. This will be decided between you and your doctor. The latest development in the field of surgery or minor procedures for treating the uh, myomas is UAE, uterine artery embolization. It's a procedure that cuts off the flow to a uterine fibroid, causing it to shrink. It's not a surgical procedure. It's a minimally invasive procedure during which a thin tube, that's called a catheter, is inserted into an artery in the groin and is guided using x-ray cameras. Once it's there, the doctor injects very small particles through the tube. The particles will clog the blood vessels that feed the fibroids. That causes them to shrink over time and die out in the end. Not all women are candidates for every procedure. Some women are not allowed to undergo certain surgeries and that's why you will have to decide with your doctor. If you have problems with uh, your myoma, please seek medical help because it affects your lifestyle and life quality a lot. So don't hesitate to seek medical help. I wish you the best of health. Thank you. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.